Don't freak out, but scientists recently discovered a tiny stomach, duodenum, and a small intestine as well, hidden among these cells of lung tumor samples. Tumors are known to be decidedly mixed up. The cells that make one often express different genes and can adopt different sizes and shapes from another part of the same tumor. This discovery was still a big surprise for scientists, but now we're taking this to another level. The team discovered that these cells had lost a gene called NKX21, which purpose is to act as a master switch, flipping a network of genes to set the course of a lung cell. Without them, what happens is that cells follow the path of their nearest developmental neighbor, which is the gut. The findings were published in Developmental Cell and it opens up a lot of research in resilience and plasticity of cancer cells. It seems like cancer cells can develop drug resistance, which appears to be a massive challenge to the cancer treatments we've produced so far. The idea of cancer cells being remarkably resilient is not new and it sheds some light on why some of the cancer treatments don't work. But this new finding goes more in-depth in the genes that these cancer cells express and how the excess or lack of them could change the way cancer develops in the body. Cancer cells do whatever it takes to survive, says Purushathama Raitata, lead study author and assistant professor of cell biology at Duke University School of Medicine and a member of the Duke Cancer Institute. Upon treatment with chemotherapy, lung cells shut down some of the key cell regulators and pick up the characteristics of other cells to gain resistance. Tata is not new to this types of findings and research. He spent most of his life studying the cell types that make up ordinary lung tissue and how these display flexibility during the regeneration following an injury. But a question was in the air. The idea that this type of rules of regeneration and flexibility of tissues might also be responsible for the jumbled nature of tumor cells. Then he decided to focus only on the not small type of cell of lung cancer, which accounts for the 85% of all lung cancer cases. If you didn't know until now, lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths worldwide, and it has the lowest survival rate of all types of cancer. Tata checked out on a more profound level the Cancer Genome Atlas Research Network, which compiles and profiles the genomes of thousands of samples from 33 different types of cancer. He found in his research that these non-small cells of lung cancer lacked the gene NKX21, a gene that's known for specifying the lung lineage. Instead of that, these cells express some genes that are associated with the esophagus and gastrointestinal organs. Because of the absence of the NKX21 gene, the cancer cells would lose their lung's identity and take on the characteristics of another cell. Tata hypothesized that because the tumor cells lose their lung characteristics and because lung and gastrointestinal cells have the same progenitors, the tumor cells would take attributes of their nearest siblings. Then he did what every scientist would do, take the cells under the microscope and he found features that typically only appear in the gut, such as crypt-like structure and gastric tissues. And the most amazing thing? These cells also produced gastrointestinal enzymes, just as if they resided on the stomach and not in the lungs. Tata wondered if another tweak or two could fuel them to form tumors. This time, in addition to knocking out NKX21, they activated the oncogenes XOS2 and KRAS. The team found that mice with these superimposed SOX2 mutations developed tumors that were exactly like those that are made in the foregut. Those with KRAS mutations developed tumors that resembled parts of the mid and hindgut. Cancer biologists have long suspected that cancer cells could shapeshift to evade chemotherapy and acquire resistance, but they didn't know the mechanisms behind such plasticity, says Tata. Now that we know what we're dealing with in these tumors, we can think ahead to the possible paths these cells might take and design therapies to block them. With the new findings, Tata wants to investigate a little further how cancer cells change and resist the current treatments.